The trailer for Thrones of Decay is finally here, showing off the three new legendary lords and a bunch of new units for all three factions. Let's take a look at what's coming in this latest Warhammer 3 DLC and what content you can expect from yours truly. First of all, we of course have our three legendary lords and their own factions. Tamurkan, the maggot lord, who's actually not this ogre, but in reality is a maggot that's controlling the bloated corpse of this ogre, so that's very noble. His focus is going to be on making the largest possible force he can by dominating and then recruiting various leaders from Chaos and Norska to increase his power. He's going to be doing all of this riding a toad dragon and wielding a two-headed axe, making him into a massive deadly tank that can take as much damage as he dishes out. He's going to be bringing along Kazik the Befouled, a new Nurgle legendary hero, and of course there's also a number of generic units including Chaos Lords of Nurgle, Chaos Sorcerers of Nurgle, Plague Ogres, Rot Knights, Toad Dragons, Pestigors, and Bile Trolls, as well as three new regiments for now, not just for Nurgle, but then three for the other two factions as well. Speaking of which, there's also Elspeth Von Draken, the Dark Lady of Nuln. She's going to be focused on the Imperial Gunnery School and she'll use this to gain access to unique upgrades and powerful abilities for the most explosive units in the roster like the Steam Tank and Artillery. She'll also be establishing the Gardens of Moor, and these are sacred sites dotted around the Empire and they're going to allow her to instantly travel across the map to wherever she's needed. In battle, she's going to be riding her dragon and wielding the Law of Death, making her a terror up close and from a distance, and she's bringing the legendary hero Theodore Bruckner, as well as engineer lords and heroes, Knights of the Black Rose, Hochland Long Rifles, Nuln Ironsides, the Steam Tank Volleygun, and the Marienburg Landship. She seems to be really padding out the War Machines area of the roster, which uh, to date has been a tiny bit barren, but no less explosive. Last but not least, there's Malachi McKyson, the Slayer Engineer from the Dwarves. His faction is based around the spirits of Grungit, a legendary airship which can be upgraded to increase his own power and even summon it for support in battle. As well as this, you'll be able to seek his Slayer Oath by searching for the most deadly battles you can get him into and test out his various engineering projects along the way. In battle, Malachi is a ranged support lord with his shotgun and explosives, but if anyone gets too close, he's always ready to throw down melee as well. He is a Slayer after all. He'll be accompanied by Garagim Ironfist, the legendary hero, as well as the Demon Slayer Lord, Dragon Slayer Hero, Doom Seekers, Goblin Hewers, Thunder Badgers, Grudge Rake, Thunderers, and Slayer Pirates. And just like Elspeth is padding out the War Machines, Malachi seems to be padding out the Slayers, which, let's be honest, up until this point, have been pretty underwhelming and very limited. Now, alongside these three paid lords and their factions, we also have a Freel Sea Lord and factions to look forward to. For some reason, in none of the documentation or the press kit, uh, he's mentioned, but according to CA, I'm allowed to tell you this, so it's Epidemius from Papa Nurgle. There's also going to be a new hero unit, the Nemesis Crown, and reworks for the Empire, Dwarf, and Nurgle base factions. Now, as you might have just noticed, that's four totally new factions being added, as well as three reworks, so obviously, you know, as a guides person, I want to cover as much of this as I can so you know what to expect when the DLC drops. So, the release schedule is as follows. This Friday, nothing. Yeah, there's that much stuff coming out in the next two weeks, so I'm going to skip Friday's video to work on this stuff. I apologise, but I promise I'm making up for it. And then, one week from today, it actually starts. On the 16th of April at 3pm BST, I'll be dropping a guide for the new Freelc Lord, Epidemius, and his faction. On that same day, at 4pm, I'll be dropping the first of three guides covering the faction reworks, starting with Nurgle, and those will release at the same time on Wednesday for the Empire, and Thursday for the Dwarves, so we have a rework a day for three days, all going to plan. And then, on Friday, I'm going to drop a video detailing the new Nemesis crown, how it works, what it does, how to get it, everything you need to know. The week after, on the 23rd, I'll be making the guide for Elspeth and her faction, and then on Wednesday, the day after, it'll be Malachi, and finally Thursday, will be Tamokan. And then finally, on Monday the 29th, I'll be dropping my review, and we can finally answer the question of if this DLC is good, and is it worth the money. Now, if you want to see any of this content, the best way to make sure you do that is to subscribe to the channel, and like 80% of the people that watch these videos, and so uh, please do that, and I will love you forever. Other than that, buckle up, because it's going to be one hell of a DLC season, and after the way that we've had, it's about damn time.